So big structure, doesn't get much bigger than this. This is a great big complex of reef here. I'm just zigzagging along the back edge of it here. Just trying to see if I can find anything on the sounder that looks interesting. And um, I'm basically, I'm looking for bait. Um, there's a bit of it holding here mid-water, sort of, but not big congregations of it as yet. So I'm just cruising the back edge of this big structure. See here, it drops to a deeper hole. I'm probably gonna have a look up around here somewhere. Where's my lights? So that's what I'm looking for. I'm just cruising around. I've got out here with plenty of time this morning. You can see, good morning by the way. You can see the sun is just starting to come up over the horizon. Um, I've got a little bit of time. So I'm just gonna zigzag my way along the back here and just see if I can't find there's a bit of bait mid-water sort of stuff. It's not huge amounts of it, but I'm hanging out a little bit off the back of the ledge here. So I'll turn back in towards the ledge, into this structure here. This is massive structure, I'll show you. I'll go over there now. All right, so watch this. I'll show you what I mean by big structure. I'm coming up onto it now, and you can see there's a lot of bait on the edge of it here, holding, and up she comes. That's quite a big ledge, very heavy reef that drops off into, um, basically I know this drops off into sand here, so that's pretty much what I'm looking for. I'm just gonna zigzag along until I can find a bit of bait or some um, sort of some fish holding on the edge here, and then I'll drop the anchor in and get fishing. All right, that's what I'm looking for right there. See that fluff, heaps of bait holding on the top. I'm gonna drop my pick up here. Righto, so why am I fishing such big structure? Um, to me, the big structure is where the fish are, or if not the fish, it's where the bait fish is. Bait fish don't want to be out in the open. They're not going to be sitting out in the middle of a big expanse of sand, out vulnerable. They want somewhere where they can shelter, somewhere where they can um, hide when the predators come by. So the big structure is, that's it. That's also where the food source is. It's where your crabs are. It's where your crayfish are. Um, it's your food source, your structure. So. Um, it's, it's, there's always exceptions to the rule. I'm not going to say schools of bait don't move and they do move across the sand and um, out in the open, but in general, most of your food source is going to be hiding in the structure and your big fish are going to be coming along looking for the fish in the big structure. So um, look at Nemo. He lived on the reef right on the edge of the drop off and what happened when his mum swam off the drop off, she got eaten by a big fish. It's the Nemo analogy, everyone knows that. <laughs> so what I'm basically fishing is the drop off. The drop off? I'm fishing the drop off on the back of the structure, hoping that those big fish are gonna be traveling along the back of that structure, looking for an easy feed. And my bait and my, I've got a soft place to get this side, are gonna be that easy feed that are sitting a couple of meters out in the open, off the back of the drop off. They're gonna be easy pickings. Fish are going to be cruising along the back edge of that drop off. It's like a natural highway for them. And there's my offerings smack bang in the open where they can see them clear as day, not hidden in the um, in the seaweed, not hidden in the reef, out in the open, clear as day. So that's the plan anyway. So I've got a soft plastic out this side, and I've got a scaly. Uh, um, I've got these scalies here out this side here. I'm going to get a bit of barely in the water and then just kick back, drink my coffee, watch this sun come up because it looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning and hopefully I can get something decent on for my breakfast and then we'll go for a bit of an adventure and see what else we can find. All right, check this out. So it's good bait holding on the bottom. You can see where I am right here, parked right smack bang on the edge of that structure. So I'm swinging. I'm sitting in 12 meters now, and then I'll swing to 14, and then swing to 12. So I know that ledge that I stand it over is literally right here. I'm sitting right on the edge of it. Over here is 14 meters. Over here is 10, and I'm sitting literally right on the edge, just sort of swinging on it like this. With those baits, exactly where I said. Out in the open where they're visible. Now, it's just a waiting game. Get a little bit of barely, keep it constant. You don't need a huge amount of barely, but make sure it's constant. You want it to just keep on flowing, keep on flowing. You want the fish to be able to follow it and follow it all the way to your boat. You don't want any interruptions like a big cloud that's wafted out over there and then nothing. It needs to be a constant trail that they can follow all the way to the boat. I don't know if you can see that in the water down there. 
Oh, yes, come on. Come on, come on. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. Decent fish. Oh, I knew it was just a matter of time. If you just do all the do all the right things, it's just a waiting game basically. This feels half decent. It's got head shakes like a snapper. I've got my drag set pretty pretty heavy here. What I'm actually gonna do is wind this one in here while this guy's just slugging it out because I can see this getting in my way when he gets closer to the boat. All right, see those big head lunges? Ugh. They're very snapper-like. So I'm just keeping a tight line on him, let him wear himself out. Snapper normally only have like one run in them. I'm calling this snapper, but then again, <coughs> there's every chance it's not a snapper. Oh, crikey, I just felt that in the reef a few... <coughs> I don't know, it's a decent fish, whatever it is. Oh, it's in the reef. It's quite heavy. Oh, can you see that click, click, click on my line? That is literally the line touching the reef down there. Not great. Come on, let's come up off the bottom. I'm starting to change my, starting to change my diagnosis here. I'm not sure this is a snapper. This could potentially be another Jewfish. Here he comes. Oh, I think it's a snapper. Oh yeah, it's a good snapper. Okay. About time, Scott. It's been a long time since I've caught a decent snapper. Really glad to see this guy come on board. There you have it. Beautiful pink snapper. He's a nice one, I'm pretty happy with him. Exactly what I showed you guys. I'm gonna measure him and see what he is. He goes 70 centimeters. Beautiful. There you go, I got that guy on ice there. Perfect, um, perfect pink snapper, exactly good size, 72 centimeters. He's exactly the kind of size I'd like as an eater. Any bigger than that, they get a bit tough and they're not great. Perfect eating size. Um, exactly what I showed you guys, just right on the edge with my baits, exactly where I said. Exactly what I showed you all, the structure. You gotta find that structure, sit on that back edge of the structure and the big fish will come along eventually. Um, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. This morning it has so far. Let's see if we can get another one. Um, I'd really like a Jewfish now. I've got the snapper I'm after. If I can get a Jewfish, I'll be happy. Um, I'm not gonna take another snapper. Oh, hang on, I've got something on here on my soft plastic. Yeah, I've got the bottom. It's not exactly what I wanted, but it's, it's big. All right, so I got a skippy I caught the other, caught this skippy the other day. I'm gonna take some big fillets off the side of this to st stick down on my um, snap bait there and see if I can't get myself a dewy off the bottom. Um, if you, you're barely up an area for a while and you start seeing marks on the bottom, a lot of the times they are dewies, they're, dew, they're dewfish just come in for a look. 
They're very curious Jewfish. Oh, I feel much better now. I've been feeling pretty inadequate lately. Just haven't been able to get a snapper on for trying. Um, for a while there I was getting really good at catching snapper and then I just really lost my touch and I don't know what it was that changed. I'm doing exactly the same things I've always been doing. It just seems like the snapper just haven't been around for a, quite a while now. Just not as prolific as they were a few years back. I think people are just getting too good at catching them now and taking too many. That's why I'm only gonna take one. Potentially I could catch more, but one is more than I need. That's a good solid feed for me. Oh, here we go. The snap bait. I just dropped this down with a big slab of skippy on there. And it's got hit almost instantly. It's not huge. Something's definitely had a go. I'm just gonna go slowly on this in case it's a small Jewfish. I don't think it is, but I think it's a little snapper. Oh no, it's a small Jewfish. small G fish. Look at this little guy. Beautiful little fish. He's annihilated that little snap bait. Um, I'm going to put this guy back. He's in good nick. I went slowly with him on the way up. <laughs> oh yeah, he swam off, no worries, straight down. So he's a legal fish, but I'm not, I just can't, haven't got the heart to take fish that small. Um, they're our breeding future, I guess, so for me, he can go back every time. Oh, got good marks, good marks on the sounder. Oh, hang on. Hang on, we're in over here. The snap bait, the Sakana, just dropped it to the bottom again. It's literally instantaneous, this thing. You drop it to the bottom and it just gets slabbed every time. What do we got here? What is this? It's a Jewfish and it's respectful. Um, oh, I don't think I'm going to net him. I'm going to net him. Don't take any chances here. There you go. Beautiful little Jewfish. Perfect eating size. He's got that little 40 grand snap bait. Every time, let's get a barely trail going. After a while, I start to see marks. I drop the little snap bait to the bottom and old mate Jewfish generally is always keen to have a crack. Beautiful fish, perfect eating size. Well, there you go. That's the two fish I'm allowed to take. Um, normally I'd only take one of those, but I'm having my parents over for a barbecue tonight. So that Jewfish is absolutely perfect. Um, I'll cook him up tonight. But there you go, guys big structure i'll show you exactly what i'm looking for why i'm looking for it find that big structure sit off the back of the big structure get some barely in the water and hopefully you can make it happen too so chuck a like subscribe or um, put a comment down below thanks everyone for watching i couldn't do this if everyone wasn't watching um it, it really helps out so thanks to everyone who watches and all the regular commenters and the regular followers um it means a lot to me that you guys um stay on board so see you guys all in the next episode you